How to Take Pictures of Basketball, Revised, 2023. What we will cover, safety, gear and exposure, where to shoot from, samples, issues and problems. Safety. Standard safety rule for sports. The players are playing the game. They are not watching out for you. It is your job to keep out of the way of the players. Safety. Pay attention to the game. Always watch out for the players headed towards you. Do not plant yourself. A photographer just waiting to get hurt. Look at what he's doing. He's not paying attention to the game. He is planted on the floor cross-legged. He can't get up and get out of the way in a hurry. And he is planted in the middle of the key. Do you think any of these players are watching for who they may come crashing down on? The left and middle players are headed straight for the middle of the key. Also, there is a reason that there is padding on the ends of the gym. The players sometimes go crashing into those padding. Plan an escape route. For basketball, I have an extra escape route. See in that in the red outline, there are four doors. There are four sets of doors like that on the four corners of the gym. When I'm shooting basketball, I stay in front of one of those doors, not under the key where the guy in the orange shirt is. If the play comes towards me, I can go left or right, or if I can't go left or right, I can go backwards out the door. And yes, I do test that the door opens freely. If the door does not open freely, I move to another door that does. Gear and exposure on the left. Camera with a high max ISO of 25,600 or more. Lenses, many options. 17 to 50, 2.8, primary on the court. 70 to 200, 2.8, primary from up on the bleachers. 35 one to 150, 2.8 to 4. This is a great single lens to use on the court floor. Unfortunately, it has been discontinued, so the only place to find it is the used market. Next, 3518 and 5018 primes for the dim gyms. Exposure, M, manual. 1 1,000th of a second shutter speed, aperture, wide open. F2.8 or 1.8. ISO, auto, or manual. On the right, this is many of your kits. Camera with a high max ISO of 25,600. You will need that high ISO, by the way. Lens, kit lenses, 18 to 55 or 18 to 140. Exposure, mode S, shutter priority. Shutter speed, 1 500 of a second, ISO, auto. For more info, please see the video on how to take pictures in the high school gym. Finally, get to the gym early and test your exposure. Adjust if needed. Where to shoot from? Basketball is opportunistic oriented. The players are running up and down all over the court. You cannot run up and down the court to follow them. So, you pick a position and shoot the action as it comes to you. However, that does not mean you stay there. You should move around the court to get shots from different positions on the court and different angles. Next, in our gym, one of the two bleachers is not open during most of the games, so we only have one open bleacher. You should shoot towards the unopened bleacher. That avoids spectators and distractions in the background of the picture. 
plan where you're going to shoot from. This, picture, this outline shows where I plan to shoot basketball. On the top, that blue circle with the green line, that's me setting up for a home game jump shot. Now remember, which side do they jump from? Home game, we're on the left going to the right. So I want the face of the guy going up for the jump. If, if it was an away game, it would be different. Now, the away game player would be on the right heading to the left. So then you would shift to the other side of the court. So the circles are basically where I'm going for the attack. So we're going from left to right, and you can look at the circle positions on the, on the, right, of the, out, on the right of the diagram to show where I would be. The squares would be where I would position myself for the defense. So now if we go on defense, now I'm on that at the square on the bottom left-hand side of the court to catch our defensive players protecting the net. Layup shot problem. Picture left. Her arm is in front of her face. Picture right, his arm is behind his face. So you got a clear shot of the of the players on the right, his face. So where was the photographer shooting from? This gets into part of your planning now. Where are you going to stay on the court? If most of your players are right-handed, they're going to be like the guy on the right. So you want to put yourself in that part of the court where you got a clear shot at his face. But don't forget the left side because you got some good shots that'll come out of the left side. Sample pictures. The introductions. The action. Lots of different pictures. The defense. Get the bench and the coaches. Yes, don't forget the coaches. The coaches get often, often get neglected in pictures. Get the final score before they turn the scoreboard off. You need to shoot this one fast because in some cases, within seconds after the end of the game, the scorekeeper kills the scoreboard. And the reason why you have that is because someone will sooner or later ask you, what was the score of the game? You have the picture of it. You've got the final score. Also, get the sportsmanship handshake at the end of the game. Issues and problems. Jump ball. If you set up wrong, you got a great shot of the back of the jumper's head. Jump ball. There is only one jump ball. This is the rule for our high school league. Miss the jump ball and your next chance is the next game. Big question. Can you see our jumper's face? Ask the coach if the jumper is a righty or a lefty. On the left, the earlier picture, you got a lefty going for the jump ball. Unfortunately, we have the back of his head. On picture right, now we've got a righty going up and we can see his face. So you have to know which hand your jumper is using, left or right. That, that'll, deep, that'll drive what side of the court you have to shoot from. If you're on the scorekeeper side of the court, in this case, you have to shoot a righty. If you've got a lefty going up, you have to shoot from the opposite side of the court. Color of the opponent's uniform. A little more tough to deal with, but as you can see in this picture, your eye goes to the player in the red. Red and orange will attract your eye before any other color. 
So as opposed to looking at your own team, your eye is pulled towards the opponent. This is tough because you don't always know what color the opponent is going to wear. For instance, if the school's color is red and black, are they going to wear red or are they going to wear black? Don't know. You, need to, you would have to find out. This is one reason for going to, in this case, away games. The home team is in white. If you go to an away game, that school that has red or orange is going to end up wearing white, and your school is going to have the color. So it gets into your planning of what games to shoot. Perspective. Two sides of the same shot. So these are two shots to the basket. Picture left. The player is larger than the basket in the background, but you've got the back of his head. Picture right. Player is smaller than the basket, but you've got his face. Sorry, but you can't make picture right have a, have a larger person. It's just perspective. The closer object is always going to be larger than the farther object. Timing of action and score. Picture left. She's going up for the basket. Picture right. By the time the ball falls in the basket, she's, she's landed on the floor. The only way you're going to get the action and score together on, on basketball is basically a dunk where they are up there with their hand and they're dunking the ball in before they drop down to the floor. So you're going to have to be satisfied with the action rather than the score. The end. Please like and subscribe.